In the next part of this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create uh, using the mirror tool, which is really useful. Okay, so if we go back in here now, and we'll open up our port with the mirror on, so show. Okay, and we'll just turn on the mirror tool. Right, so that's exactly, does exactly what it says it does, so it mirrors a part. So therefore, if we've got a really... Um, a, a part that's symmetrical we don't want to have to do twice the work because basically we're always aiming in SOLIDWORKS to minimize the amount of features that we create within here for a number of reasons this will sort of minimize the overall size of the part it will make it less complex easier to send and basically easier for so when somebody goes back to look over it to see where exactly what's going on and so on so the mirror tool um, use it as much as possible where a part is symmetrical so generally we, we've just used it on our, our pattern here and if we go into the mirror in more depth edit feature um, what it does is it mirrors both those features so remember we, we, we first extruded this up and so that uh, boss extrude was put in the features to mirror and then the cut extrudes were put in the features to mirror and then we select a plane so we'll go into that now okay so that's created right so we'll open up our single part we can close this part now so if I right click hide and then I'll go down to edit so I'll show this part okay this is really easy to use this tool but there are sometimes um, I think oops if we go into this part there is the merge un buttons unclick so that's the way that yours will be at the moment we'll have the merge feature button unclicked and sometimes there are little tweaks within SOLIDWORKS that you've got to watch out for and you'll get used to within time so now if we go up to my mirror tool click on it up here so mirror mirrors features faces and bodies so we can mirror our features that we created right first of all it's asking me for a mirror face or plane so this is basically we can select a face on the uh, part which I'm going to use this face here in order to create our mirror so if I just extrude um, mirror the boss extrude and go to do that okay only merging feature merging features may be patterned if appropriate making a pattern of bodies instead okay so basically <laughs> up here we've got our bodies so we can do this a number of ways I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go back into my part and what it did say is it wants a merge result so merging feature so that all that means is we've got to tick this button here so merging merging merge results and select bodies okay and that's green tick that and now if I go back and try and use the uh, tool it will work so mirror okay boss extrude we'll just pick one for now and green tick that okay see now that's word but now wait a minute look we haven't got our features here that we wanted in so we can go back in I'm just getting you used to going back in and editing things in the parametric way so we go back into edit feature and now we select the cut that we used on there and green tick that now so you can see the cuts appeared if we green tick that now it's appeared and there we have the mirror feature within SOLIDWORKS in this tutorial we'll be using the shell tool right um, if we go across into the finished models here we can see the shell tool and what it does so before I had a look at this actually yours had, had a hole in it but we can remove that and you'll see that in the uh, in the next section um, now if I pull down the shell tool what it does is it adds a thickness so if we go up here and, and hover over it, it removes material from a solid body to create a thin walled feature okay and therefore we can determine we can tell SOLIDWORKS we want this to be a certain thickness here okay um, you could also shell inwards so it will shell inwards and shell outwards
uh, it's really useful for bottle design and anything with the volume so you design the shape in the volume and then you can shell outwards so that you can give it its exterior and so on so right now let's go back in to our existing oops just here okay now we can get rid of the mirrored feature which will hide and we'll bring up show so show at the moment what you should be having on screen as you can see on your model it should have a cut all the way through so what I want you to do is simply find that cut down your feature tree right click on it and click delete and click yes okay and that will leave us with a sketch and then just delete that sketch as well because we don't need that now we're ready to use the shell tool so go up to the shell tool click right now we wants us to show a preview we'll click on show preview and we won't have show outwards and we'll click on the top there okay and over here this is our thickness so we could have a thickness of five for instance and basically what in this in this window here for clear selections what this is doing is it's show giving me the option okay which which um face do you want to be open so if this was a mug for instance and I didn't have that selected um, this inner all of this inner will be like an oil tanker or and being closed but if we want one end to be open then we select that in here faces to remove and so on so you can see at the bottom here it's got a thickness 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 and now if I remove that and green tick what we can see is this is like a cup now and we can easily go back in and edit the feature okay so we could say that's four mil and what we can also do we don't necessarily have to uh, shell inwards because if we know this there's a certain volume that we want to say this is the amount of water we want to hold then we can shell outwards so that the thickness goes on the outside and around that volume and so you can green tick that um, I'm just going to roll back on the shell tool because what we can do in a, a tool within SolidWorks it's useful to know for bottle production you'll learn more about this is the mass property so if I click on this what it does tell us is the overall volume of an object okay so I can select items and I can just select that and we can go recalculate and it'll tell us the exact volume okay so therefore if I need a certain amount of liquid I can I can look on here to see if it is or not and so on so therefore if uh, I'm designing a mug that needs to hold a certain amount I can use that tool and I'll go back into the feature and I will shell. And that completes the uh, shell tutorial.